Your influence has nothing to do with how big of a following you have. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Shaylin. So you have to think about rejection as redirection. Okay, welcome back to a new weekly vlog. We are kicking off this vlog on Sunday. I intro this vlog with me getting my nails done. I went to my girl Jazz. Y'all know she's the best to ever do it. If y'all love my nails, I hate to break it to y'all, but she don't do nails. Like she only has a select few clients that she does nails for. So y'all don't be mad at me, be mad at her, but you can go to her to get your feet done, okay? You want the toes to look good too? Baby, she's your girl. Ain't nobody doing toes like Jazz. I hate to break the scene. We are on our way to church. I'm super excited. I just love going to church. Like on like just getting that word in and being in church. Just I just feel a sigh of relief. Like any stress that I have, any worry that I have just goes away. Like so I really love that moment of peace. It's a little chilly chilly today. In the DMV, we've been having like warmer days. So I was surprised. I walked outside in my sweater and I was like, oh, I'll be fine in this sweater. Girl, I went right back inside and grabbed me a little coat. It's a little nippy, okay? It's literally like 40 something degrees. And today, well, last night, the time went back. So I was like, why am I feeling so tired? And now I know why. Because the time went back and your girl lost an hour of sleep. I'm never happy when I'm losing an hour of sleep, okay? Because I'm someone who thrives when they sleep. I know a lot of you guys in my last video was asking what church I go to. Um, I'm currently loving Mount Enon Baptist Church. I will link their YouTube channel down below just in case you're not in the area. Um, that way you guys can watch online if you're interested. Uh, I've been strongly considering joining this church um, just because it's just been really fulfilling for me. After church, actually, we have to go home edit a video and I want to try to film a tiny bit of content because y'all we are getting our lashes today we are actually going to be a lash model for my previous lash tech y'all know I haven't gotten lashes in so long but she reached out to me and she was like hey like this set would look good on you can I please use you, use you as a lash model and I said girl of course like and the set is very pretty it's definitely more of a more natural classic set and I really feel like sis is about to have me hooked on lashes again I just have that feeling and y'all know once you put lashes on and you just like dang you girl you're stuck you're locked in all you got to do is get lashes once and you're locked in the apartment process i was getting so frustrated and feeling defeated yesterday because the apartment that i wanted the price went up the only reason that i didn't sign the lease immediately on that apartment because it literally it's great i've toured this apartment multiple times the only reason i didn't sign the lease is because the apartment that i toured had a handicapped tub now, no shade to like the handicapped tubs. Like I obviously know certain apartments have handicapped tubs, but they informed me that they actually had plans of changing it into a regular tub. But my concern was I didn't want to one, sign a lease on an apartment where I'm not going to be able to take a shower for a good period of time because what like I'm not going to be there if I can't take a shower. And then also I didn't want to be in a position where I'm stuck with the handicapped tub. And when I say handicapped tub, I don't mean just the railings. It literally was like a full blown like you open the door type to get into the tub like shower type situation i'll find a picture online and like pop it up and i just know how these apartments get down and from talking to people everybody told me like girl do not sign a lease because it could be seven eight months later and they still haven't fixed it and that's just not okay for me personally so i didn't want to sign the lease i just i prayed on it and i just felt like god spoke to me and was like don't sign this lease you know what i mean like everybody's telling you not to sign this lease you don't feel confident in signing the lease so don't other than that, it was perfect. I just really put myself on a strict like budget for what I wanna spend when it comes to renting. And I really don't feel like I should compromise on that budget, like I don't. I feel like I should stick to that budget. So I'm praying that they come down on the lease. I'm hoping that nobody rents it and it sits and then they're like, hey, we're trying to get rid of this apartment. So usually I notice the prices will drop towards the end of the month. Um, and then they'll pick back up in the beginning. So I'm hoping like maybe the end of March, if it drops and they fix that tub, I would absolutely sign the lease on that place. But if not, I'm just like, I can't, 
I just don't feel comfortable doing that. So I was feeling discouraged, but luckily my second choice Price is still looking great. I haven't signed the lease on that one because like I said, I really loved the first one. So I kind of want to just weigh my options, pray about it and go from there. So I just want to tell y'all the apartment process is not for the week, okay? These apartments lie. They, you get to the apartment, the pictures don't look nothing like what you see in person. Then another thing that pisses me off is like, these apartments don't say on their website that they want you to gross four times the rent. So basically what that means is if your rent is two grand, you have to be bringing in eight grand a month and that's before taxes. Y'all, it is so bright. But basically what I was saying is, so some of these apartments that you might go tour, you don't actually qualify for because if you're not making eight grand a month, then there's no point in you seeing the apartment. Another thing that's annoying about the process is you will literally go on a website, say you wanna tour a one bedroom apartment, they schedule you the tour and then you come and they're like, hey, right now we actually only have two bedrooms to show you. I don't wanna see a two bedroom. I signed up for a one bedroom. Like, how, like I don't wanna see an apartment that I'm not actually gonna be living in and that's kind of like a struggle too because sometimes you'll see an apartment online that you like and some people are willing to rent apartments without touring them first so it can be gone literally like that. But me personally, I need to be in tour, walk the exact apartment that I would be living in. I don't want to be guessing. I don't want you to be telling me, imagine if there's these fixtures and imagine if this. No, mm -mm, I'm not having that. I need to tour the exact apartment and that's what I would recommend for y'all too. That way you don't get stuck with an apartment that you weren't expecting. Because as y'all know, apartment layouts can differ, the fixtures can differ, the flooring can differ, the cabinets, just different things can differ. And I just feel like when you're signing a lease, like to be in a place for a certain amount of months, it's important that you're seeing exactly what you're getting. So that has been very frustrating with me. So I definitely recommend if you are on the hunt for an apartment, call these places before you schedule a tour and actually ask them, hey, if I schedule a tour, can I specifically see this apartment? Or can I see an apartment that looks identical to this apartment? I don't wanna see it if it's a different layout. I don't wanna see it if it has different fixtures. It identical, you know what I mean? That way you're not wasting your time. And then also confirm with them what are their requirements for applying? Do I have to gross two times the rent? Do I have to gross three times the rent? Do I have to gross four times the rent? Like, what are the qualifications? Like, you know what I mean? Do you guys have a certain credit score? That way you're not wasting your time touring apartments that you're not even going to be approved for. You know what I mean? So that's my little tidbit. That's my little advice. Um, if you guys have any questions about the apartment hunt, let me know because I'm going to do like a whole video kind of talking about the process. Um, I didn't show me going on apartment tours because like I said, I'm looking in specific areas and I just feel like that's a safety concern for me. We're about to pull up at church, y'all. I'm about to go get my word in. Then we have so, so much to do. So I'll see you babes after church. Mr. Genius Idiot. I love it, man. I love it, man. These days. All right, y'all, I'm trying to decide what kind of bun. I don't wanna do my signature with like the part down the middle, but my hair is kind of already molded. Anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys about church today because church had like a really, really good message. So he preached from the message of I'm going all the way. For me as a content creator, it's constantly an uphill battle. Like it's crazy because I know God has spoke to me and told me like, this is what I'm meant to do. But sometimes distractions and things get in the way um, and it makes you feel like maybe this isn't my path. Maybe I should just settle for doing something else. Maybe I should settle for this. You know what I mean? Not allowing distractions to get in the way of what God has planned for you. And another thing that he was talking about is how everything that looks good for you isn't necessarily good for you. And then he also preached about, his last and final point was about rejection and how rejection is actually redirection. So for me, I remember when I had my first experience at a job, I wasn't fired, I was like temping. And I'll never forget, like I had my first experience at a job where literally they just like randomly one day, like just was like, Oh, we don't want you to temp anymore and I thought the job was promising like I thought the job was gonna like pan out 
for me to grow there, for me to be there long term. Like I was just being sold false hopes and things to keep me around. And at first when it happened, I was just so devastated and I couldn't understand like why I was rejected. Like I knew I was a good worker. I knew I was doing my part. Like I just couldn't wrap my head around why I was being rejected. But if it wasn't for that taking place, I wouldn't have the job that I have now, which I love. Like I love what I do. I love the work environment. If it wasn't for God redirecting me, I would have never gotten this job. If it wasn't for God redirecting me, I would have never started my YouTube channel because I was feeling so stressed and overwhelmed at my previous job and just not in a place of feeling confident to post just giving myself excuses and saying I was gonna do it next year and next year. So you have to think about rejection as redirection and don't think of it as a bad thing like rejection isn't necessarily always a bad thing and sometimes when you're going through rejection it's hard to see that but it's not until you get out on the other side where you're like ah okay I see you God like this makes sense like and so I just want to encourage you guys if you are dealing with rejection whether it not even just be from a job it can be from a partner it could be from a friendship like for me I know I was telling you guys about my apartment before and I was feeling really discouraged because I'm like, I know God wants me to be on my own. Like, I know he wants me to take this step. And I just knew for sure where I was supposed to end up. I knew what my top choice was supposed to be. Instead of looking at the price of the apartment going up as rejection, I'm looking at it as redirection. Eric met me at church. I always love going to church with him. And I'm super grateful to Eric. He encouraged me to prioritize my faith. I kept saying that I wanted to, but I really wasn't doing anything to prioritize my faith. And just seeing how he was prioritizing his faith, he wasn't making excuses as to why he couldn't go to church. Instead, he was making God a priority girl this part i'm forever grateful to him because that is one of the best things that i feel has came out of our relationship <laughs> girl is off work and we are in the city with it we're actually about to go shoot some content with miss kakiana aka my pumpkin okay i'm super excited to shoot content with my girl and y'all it is flooded out here baby the tourists are out okay you get one nice weather day in dc baby and they don't know how to freaking act um but i'm hoping that i'll be able to find parking because like i said so many tourists and the problem when there's so many tourists, I just feel like the parking spots are limited. It's like a whole group field trip over here. Got three looks in the back. I don't know if y'all can see, but in the back seat, we have like three looks. Um, so I'm super excited to shoot all of them. I wanted to shoot three looks because I'm so behind on Instagram content. So I'm like, why not get myself built up? Like if I'm done up and I got my favorite photographer with me, like girl, get it done. We're just gonna vibe and spend some time together and motivate each other and help each other. I actually wanna do a vlog focused on around how I do. I know you're not blowing the horn at me and it just turned green. I definitely wanna do a video, well, a vlog on, you know, balancing being a content creator and a nine to five girly. I definitely wanna share, do a weekly vlog just centered around how I balance my nine to five and being a content creator and give you guys like all my tips, tricks, things I do. I posted a vlog yesterday that I was super nervous about posting. It's like the most vulnerable vlog that I put on my channel. And it was basically talking about how I was struggling mentally and financially and basically that I moved back home and I was just so nervous as to how people were gonna pretty much like receive that video and just the feedback you guys are giving me is amazing like it feels so good to know that I have a community that one is either going through the same thing as me or two that's just like uplifting and supporting me through what feels like the biggest setback um so I'm just forever grateful. I just wanna say thank you to y'all for y'all response because it was very difficult for me to post that video, but I'm so happy that I went through and posted it because I just knew that somebody needed to hear it. And based on the comments and the DMs and the text messages that I've gotten, it was worth it. It was worth me putting myself out. I'm so grateful to God for putting it on my heart to put that out because my goal with this whole social media thing is to 
touch people and impact people and motivate people so i'm just so happy that i was able to do that so we're gonna go meet up with kate because she's here and get this content day rolling hey i cannot believe this thing is that freaking it's small. so tiny right and it it looks really good thank you absolutely beautiful oh thank you We were actually gonna shoot our last outfits. Girl, parking police pulled up on us, okay, baby? And if you know anything about DC parking police, you need to move your car because they are gonna get you and they are gonna get you and send that ticket. Already given DC government $50, okay? I've already paid a parking ticket. I ain't paying no more. So we're going to a different location to shoot our last outfit. This is the annoying part about DC. Now it is like 5.30, so unfortunately everybody's getting off work so there's like a lot of rustle and bustle going on and so you deal with traffic you deal with parking because if you guys don't know in dc a lot of the parking lanes eventually turn into driving lanes so after 4 p.m you can't be parked there i'm so proud of myself like what three looks in one day this is unheard of i'm lucky if i get two because i'm gonna be honest with y'all after my second one i'm usually like over it so we made it to our final destination i'm gonna shoot in front of this building it's pretty neutral calm and cute um so we're gonna get this done because i'm over it like i'm on the third outfit it's time to wrap it up okay we're over it we're over it <laughs> hey y'all happy thursday i have not been talking to y'all much this week honestly on my in office days i'm just so zoned in and i'm so focused on being in the office so i haven't talked to y'all in a couple of days but we are done with our in office days praise the lord okay um but right now i'm super excited because oh not my alarm i'm super excited because i'm actually about to hop on a zoom meeting with one of my subscribers and i'm super excited her name is shaylin too i believe i don't know but i'm thinking by the way it's spelled it's Shaylin and I'm like oh it's so nice to meet another Shaylin because Shaylin's around the world okay period but I'm super excited to meet with her because actually she has a business and her business is called Artful Awakening Studio and basically what we're going to be doing is a custom art and meditation experience I'm super excited because I need to meditate y'all I have been dealing with a lot a lot of stress a lot of anxiety you know life just be life in so I'm super excited to see what this entails honestly y'all it's been a minute since i've done any type of meditation i think the last time was when my friend yana literally had us do like a group meditation type of situation so i'm super excited um she told me to have water and a notepad so i have this little notepad that eric gave me because i didn't bring my journal but i'm so excited Oh, I'm super excited. But yeah, so I'm just going to wait to hop on the Zoom call with her. Um, It says it's going to be an hour, so I'm excited. I'm going to give you guys a review of it afterwards. Of course, I will let you guys watch um, and see kind of like what my experience is in case you guys want to possibly do it. But I will link all of her information down below if you guys are interested. I'm all about supporting the babe. So if you guys have your own businesses or or anything let me know like send me your products like uh email me let me know about your business like i'm more than happy to like support and share it with the babes because they we all family okay we want to help each other the babes support the babes okay period that's just that's just how we move over here hey wait i can't hear you what oh now i can i can hear you oh, now yeah it turns volume <laughs> hey i love your hair it's so Ooh, cute. I appreciate it. You want to say hi to the vlog? <laughs> <laughs> hi, I'm Shaylin. Um, yeah, I'm an artist meditation instructor and so grateful to have this opportunity to work with Shaylin as well during their session today. After this, like, I'll send you the artwork okay. and uh, it's going to be based off our session today. Okay. And it's based on like self-love, self-acceptance and empowerment. Ooh. Basically, but it's like after our session and then i'll ask you some questions okay and like how you felt about meditation and then like what you would like in your artwork okay i want you to keep going girl because this could be big for you i want to encourage you to keep going because i think what you do is really great and i just think it can help a lot of a lot of people like men and women i literally just finished the session and i recorded a couple clips but 
like I said, okay, Shaylin is doing a business, okay? Shaylin's run businesses, okay? So I didn't incorporate everything, but you guys, when I tell you this was an amazing experience, this was just what I needed with like all the negative thoughts that I've been having towards myself because of the current place that I'm in. Like, yes, I have my moments where I'm like, you got this, we're gonna do this, you're gonna see the light, you're gonna get through this. I still have my moments where I'm like, why am I in this position? Why is this happening to me? Like, when am I going to get to where I want to be? Like, when am I going to be in this place of peace? Um, and it just helped me to get there. It helped me to envision myself there. So basically what you get with this is a guided meditation. She walks you through some things to think about, some things to envision. And then she gives you affirmations to recite, to say, and like, I just really was someone who never practiced saying affirmations and I'm realizing after this session how important and how powerful it is to say affirmations. Um, so Shaylin, if you're watching this, I just want to say, girl, keep going with what you're doing because it is amazing. Like you just don't know how many people you're going to touch and benefit with this. Um, I'm just so grateful that she picked me because this could not have come at a better time in my life. If you are someone who's interested, I will link all of her information down below on how to book her. And I'm super excited to see my artwork and share it with you babes because I just feel like she completely understood what I was feeling in that moment. And I just feel like I know that she's going to do a good job of conveying where I am and where I want to go in this artwork piece. And I'm just super excited because it's going to be abstract. And I just want a piece that I can look at maybe when I'm going through those dark times that reminds me of the light at the end or a piece that shows me when I am at a good place of where I came from. So I'm just super excited. I'm feeling really good. I'm in a good place. I'm actually going to do some work while I'm feeling very upbeat, uplifted. Um, but yeah, y'all, I just, y'all go book my girl. Okay, go book my girl because she She's not playing, okay? I'm telling you, like, if you are prioritizing self-love, if you are prioritizing wellness, she's your girl, okay? Book my girl. I'm not playing with y'all. Book her because you will not regret it. And then I know you're going to message me and tell me how good it was, okay? And that you wish you, you knew about it sooner, okay? But yeah, y'all, I'm going to get some editing done and I will talk to you babes a little bit later. Hey y'all, so we are in the car. We are on our way to a Tory Burch event. It is Friday. So happy Friday, y'all. I have not talked to y'all since yesterday. Um, yeah, I finished work for the day and then I literally immediately after work had to clock out, pull myself together for this Tory Burch event. Funny story, y'all. I did not see the Tory Burch email until yesterday night. Like, I had just been avoiding my work emails. I know that sounds crazy, but I was literally avoiding them. Y'all, not me having to switch to my phone. Basically, my SD card was full. I don't have another um, SD card on me, so I guess we're just going to be blogging off our phone um, for this event. But basically, I was saying if it wasn't for Shaylin, I would have never checked my emails and saw that I got invited to the Tory Burch event, and it just so happened to be today. So I was able to work it into my schedule. So I'm going to just stay there for an hour because I am getting my taxes done at 6.30. I have a virtual meeting, so I pretty much have to wait um make sure i leave in a timely manner because i'm not trying to be in traffic it's at tyson's too um so i need to make sure i'm able to get back home in time for my meeting i pray i don't need anything because baby i'm not prepared if so but i don't really care at this point i'm just like going with the vibes i think this meeting is just for him to kind of get an idea of like my taxes what i do and like you know all that type of stuff i don't think i'm actually supposed to provide him with my expenses during this appointment at least i hope not because if so mama ain't ready mama gonna have to email that to you at a later date okay baby um but i do plan on working on that this weekend i found out cake and morgan are both going to the event so i'm super excited about that so i'm gonna meet them there as well and yeah we're just gonna have a good day i really like my makeup i did a no makeup no makeup no foundation look so believe it or not you guys i don't have foundation on this is literally my tinted spf as the base like literally i put on some concealer but baby we don't have no foundation on and i absolutely love this look on me i think it just looks best on my face but yeah y'all is it for drizzling uh-uh do i have my umbrella uh-uh uh -uh. don't piss me off okay don't oh my god it's drizzling bro are you freaking kidding me right now all right y'all i'll see y'all once we get to tyson's
Y'all, I just got home from the event. It was so amazing. Y'all, my chair is so wobbly. It's broken. I don't know. I have to figure out and see if I can fix it. If not, I'm like, I really want a new one of this chair. But if not, if it's going to be breaking like this, I think I've only had this chair for maybe two years it's from amazon maybe i'm maybe i'm too big maybe i broke it i don't know but we actually got a gift from tori birch i'm so excited i want to open her up and see what's inside because girl tori birch is gifting me little old me something oh we have the essays okay so shout out to terry and shout out to Rye. Um, Rye is actually the store manager over at Tyson's. Um, well, the assistant store manager. And they're both super sweet. Um, absolutely um, loved the event. I had such a good time networking. Saw so many beautiful people. Um, and then, oh my God, he hand wrote a note. How sweet. It says, Shaylin, thank you for being a part of the Tory Burch Spring Preview. Sip and shop. Your style and influence make every moment memorable. That is so freaking sweet. And baby, he was iconic. Okay, he was eating down. The outfit was tea. The nails were tea. The jewelry was giving. But let's see what they gifted us. Let's see. It's a little beach bag. That is so freaking cute, y'all. It's perfect for like the summer. I'm feeling super blessed right now, y'all. I literally have five minutes before I need to get on my um, tax meeting. Luckily, we were able to push it back. But I'm feeling super blessed right now. Like, I just feel like God is constantly putting things in front of my face to let me know I'm on the right path, I'm doing the right thing. And it's things like this, like literally if it wasn't for me going to the meditation with Shaylin yesterday, I literally would have never checked my emails because I was just feeling in a space of like overwhelmed, just, just, you know what I mean? And like after that session, I felt so motivated and I checked my emails and lo and behold, the event was today. I literally would have missed it, you guys. Um, so I just want to say thank you, God. I'm feeling extremely blessed to get these opportunities, especially as a creator that is not the biggest. I think let this be your sign that it doesn't matter who it doesn't matter how big you are right your influence has nothing to do with how big of a following you have and just you never know the impact you'll have in the places you'll be in don't set yourself to a number I used to do that and be like I'm such a small creator like I'd be in these spaces and I felt awkward giving out my social media because I'm just like everybody got over 100k and I don't even got 10 but I just have to realize that God is blessing me and I never need to question where I'm at because if I'm in the room I've earned to be in the room you know what I mean so I just want to say that for all my fellow content creators out there don't let the numbers play tricks on your mind it's super hard because social media is definitely a numbers game but just don't let it go to your head know when to step away know when to take a breather and know when to recenter to your mind because you never know what's on the other side like I would have never thought in a million years that at this point in my career that I would be invited to a Tory Burch event. Like I would see this for myself in the future, but God said, no, baby, you're getting it right now. Baby, you're getting it right now. So I can remind you what, what I'm trying to do for you. You know what I mean? So I'm feeling super blessed. I actually got Chick-fil-A because one, I've been su doing super bad with my meal pr plan. Two, I need to hop on this call and I just don't have time to cook and I need to go grocery shopping. So it's like a double whammy, you know what I mean? But at least I got a fruit cup, you know what I mean? Like, work with me here. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to hop on this meeting and I will talk to you babes a little bit later. Hey, y'all, happy Sunday. Oh, girl, it's Saturday. I'm too excited for Sunday, okay? <laughs> Happy Saturday, y'all. I'm clearly still asleep because I'm thinking today is Sunday when it's really Saturday. But I went and I grabbed some groceries. I did pickup orders for everything. So I didn't bring y'all along for that. But I want to share with you guys what I picked up because a lot of you guys were interested in like my weight loss journey, what I've been eating and the things I've been doing in order to maintain this weight loss. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I've been eating so bad lately, like so bad. But it's time to get back on the bandwagon, okay? It's time to get back to it okay so let me share with you guys a little grocery haul first place we went was amazon fresh and i just simply picked up my meats from here so with my meal plan the only meats that i've been eating is chicken 
and ground turkey. So I just get a little pack of ground turkey. For me, I find that when I get the bigger packs of ground turkey, I never eat it all before it's gone. And that's not because I'm not following my meal prep, but that's just because I feel like after a couple days, the meal prep just doesn't taste as fresh. So I just prefer to get it in like a smaller portion. Yes, you could get the bigger one and freeze it cook it at a later date. But for me, I just feel like the smaller portions, I'd rather grocery shop more often and cook more often and my food be fresh as opposed to eating something that's been sitting in the fridge for like several days. The next thing that I got is chicken thighs and the key is for them to be boneless and skinless. Okay, you definitely want them to be skinless. Boneless, I don't think is a big deal, but the skinless part is very, very key. At first I was eating chicken breast and I just could not for the life of me figure out how to cook it and it not be dried out. It was either not cooked all the way, baby, and it was given salmonella, okay? Or is, is that how you get salmonella when it's not cooked all the way? I don't know, correct me down below. Or it was given just dry as hell. So I was like, eh, I don't really like that. So I experimented with chicken thighs last time and I absolutely loved them. So I got chicken thighs this time. Again, I went with a smaller pack because like I said, I just prefer my food fresh. And that way I'm not throwing food away just simply because I'm like, mm, I want to cook something fresh. Next stop we made was Target. And I went ahead and picked up this Good and Gather brand of this cooking spray. This is the butter flavor. I love the butter flavor cooking spray because it definitely feels or tastes like you're cooking with butter. Obviously, cooking with butter is something that adds a lot of fat, a lot of unnecessary calories. So cooking spray is definitely key if you're doing any sort of meal prep. This one is my favorite. The pan version is good as well this one's just cheaper so that's why i got that i actually picked up two of those next thing i picked up are these quest protein bars these are so good this is the s'mores kind and these literally taste so good this is what i have in the evening it's sort of like my dessert my treat i alternate between this and the halo top ice cream um but this is so good i love it at the end of the day and of course because it's a protein bar you're also getting your protein in so these are key especially when i have my little sweet tooth so the next thing that i picked up our poppies technically this isn't a part of my meal plan i honestly just get these sparingly just to have something if i'm craving a soda or something like that sometimes i'm craving like that carbonation especially during that time of the month um this is the raspberry rose flavor i would have to say this is my favorite flavor so far and they're only 25 calories i used to love olipops but olipops are a little bit higher when it comes to calories so i opted for the poppy this is not something i drink every day like i said this is kind of like a treat for me right if i'm having a craving or something like that other than that i'm typically just drinking water or I'm drinking like a flavored water of some sort that does not have any calories to it. If I do drink something with calories, typically I try to stay under five calories. Next thing I got from Target are these turkey sausages. This is by the brand Golden Brown. The reason I go with this brand is because the calories are lower on this. So basically for four links, it's only 90 calories. And I believe when I was comparing it to Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean was a lot higher calories for less links. So that is why I opted to go with these. I have three of these a day for breakfast. I make me a little breakfast sandwich. I'll show you guys that in a vlog just in case you guys want some breakfast ideas, but I absolutely love these sausage links. Um, they're not at every Target though. They're only at certain Targets is what I'm noticing, but I absolutely love these. They're so good. They're already cooked. All you have to do is throw them in the microwave for I think like 30 to 45 seconds and you're good to go. Last stop was Walmart chow. I don't like going to Walmart. I don't know. I just be trying to avoid it, but I just had to go because there were certain things that they had that I needed. So the first thing that I picked up is this Country Peach Passion Tea and this is a caffeine free. I love having tea to drink in the morning. I'm really trying to stay away from caffeine. So that's why I typically get a caffeine free tea. And if I want to sweeten this, I'll sweeten it with a no calorie sweetener, like a Splenda, a Equal, a Truvia, um, just to sweeten it up a little bit. And I absolutely love this. And honestly, if you want, you can actually go ahead and make this cold and have a cold drink that's no calories, okay? We love that. Next thing I picked up is a game changer. Okay, this is by the brand G Hughes, and this is their sugar free ketchup. It's only five calories per one tablespoon, which is crazy. Like, because let me tell y'all what normal ketchup is given. Normal ketchup is given 20 calories for one tablespoon, and you know you not only using one tablespoon of this ketchup. Okay, Heinz, I'm sorry to put y'all on blast, but baby, for the girls who's trying to lose weight, 
this ain't it. So I absolutely love this one. I will say when I first tried it, I was like, mm, this don't give regular ketchup. You have to give your taste buds a chance to switch over. So having sugar-free items, it's gonna take a minute for you to get used to it. Don't try it and be like, mm, this tastes funny. Give it a couple times, allow your taste buds to change, and I promise you, game changer. Because when I first tried this ketchup, I was like, mm, it's okay. And girl, it got better and better and better, especially when I make like sweet potato fries and I want something to dip it in, or if I wanna put a little bit on my turkey burger, or if I wanna dip my chicken. I'm not really a chicken and ketchup type of girl, you know what I mean? But it's an option, you know what I mean? So I absolutely love these. He actually has a lot of good sauces. I really like the barbecue one and the hickory barbecue one, but just keep in mind that not all of his are five calories. Then I got me some sugar-free jelly. Again, this is another thing you have to give it time. When I first tried sugar-free jelly, I was like, it tastes funny, like it don't taste right. But y'all, I'm telling you, give it a chance. Give your taste buds a chance to adjust, and I promise you, it's really not that bad. And then last but not least, we had to pick us up some bread. My favorite brand of bread is the 647 bread, y'all. When I tell you, you cannot tell the difference. This bread is so good. It's not super tiny. It's the standard size of your normal piece of bread, and it is literally 45 calories a slice. That is amazing, okay? Love this bread. I got the potato flavor. The potato flavor is my favorite, but they have whites, they have wheat, girl, they have whole wheat, Italian, anything you can think of, super good. The only thing I don't like is Target no longer carries this. Um, so I have to go to like Walmart or a Giant or something like that. And then I saw that they also had the 647 buns in stock. So I'm super excited to use these for my turkey burgers. Again, this entire bun is 90 calories, you guys. I literally found buns last week that were 120 calories and they were not as big as this. They were like little miniature buns. So obsessed with the 647 brand. They also have bagels, English muffins. So definitely recommend swapping out your bread. Like this is going to cut so many calories, y'all. Just something as simple as swapping out your bread choices. So definitely recommend the 647 brand. Obsessed with them. So now y'all, let's get to cook it okay because we got things to do today's my dad no today isn't my dad's birthday my dad's birthday was actually on thursday so we're actually celebrating today which is saturday so i have to go pick his cake up and then we're gonna head over there spend some time with him and spend some time with chloe y'all know i love chloe she's gonna be so excited to see me um i'm saying she won't be so excited to see me but i just know her because i know how she feel about me okay but yeah, let's get some meal prep done so that we can be on time, girl, because we got a lot to do, okay? I'm so groovy. I'm so groovy. I am Pluto. I am Pluto. No, 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 okay. I'm so groovy. I got power. I'm so groovy. I got power. I just bought it. I'm so groovy. I got power. I'm so groovy. It's me picking up a rice cooker. I bought this actually from Amazon. This is by the brand Aroma. This is my first time actually using it. I just washed everything out. So it comes with this. It comes with a little lid. It comes with a little spoon to scoop your rice out. A little measuring cup. And then this is the actual like rice cooker thing that it cooks in. I'm super excited to try this out because I don't know about y'all, but I just feel like for me, I'm good at making rice, don't get me wrong, but it's just, I need it to be perfect every time. And I feel like for me to cook rice properly, I need to be watching it. And this is just easy peasy. I can leave it and not really kind of like worry about it or think about it. So that's why I was like, let me try buying a rice cooker and see, see how it goes, okay? See what she gives. So I'm super excited to try her out. So we're gonna do this really quickly and then I'm gonna give y'all my thoughts on if this is actually worth it or not. it is much much later i finished all my meal prep 
and now we're actually on our way to my dad's to celebrate his birthday girl today has been a long day i cannot wait to go to sleep okay i need me a good it's giving go to bed at 8 p.m today okay um but yeah so pretty much right now we're headed over there um y'all know i'm on my meal prep so i'm not gonna be eating whatever they're eating <laughs> i bought my little meal with me okay baby i might have a tiny slice slice of cake but honestly y'all i don't really care for this bakery or maybe it's not that I don't care for the bakery. Maybe it's I don't care for the cake that my dad likes. <laughs> I feel like I like real sweets. My dad, he's like a semi-sweet type of guy. But it's not my birthday that we're celebrating. So, you know, I had to get him his favorite cake. Um, So, yeah, I might have a little slither of cake. I don't know. I'm still debating because I'm like, the cake not even that good to be, you know, spending my calories. Um, But, yeah, so we're on the way there. And then after I'm going to um, meet up with Eric, we need to run an errand together. Um, and then we'll probably just chill for the rest of the night. We have church in the morning. But yeah, y'all, let's go ahead and head to my dad's. One more time, I got on my tail. Have your head right if it's going down for sure.